In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to place decimals on a number line. All right, let's look at this number line. This number line starts with 0, and it ends with 3. We have 0, 1, 2, and 3. These are all whole numbers. Now, in the middle, we have a little mark. These are halfway points. And the way that we would represent a halfway point as a decimal is 0 0.5. Halfway between 1 and 2, you would represent that by 1.5 because it comes after the 1 mark. And in the middle of 2 and 3, you would represent that by 2.5 or 2.5. Okay, so let's see. In the middle of 0 and 0 0.5, the way you would represent that as a decimal is, first of all, let's look at 0 0.5, and we'll say that that's the same as 0 0.50. 0 0.5 and 0 0.50 are the same thing. Halfway between 0 and 0 0.50 is 0 0.25. Now, 0 0.25 plus 0 0.50 gives us 0 0.75 and then we have 1 halfway between 1 and 1 1.5 we would have 1.25 okay so let's look at some examples and see where they would go on the number line let's say I give you 0 0.30 now let's look at our number line we have 0 0.25 and 0 0.5, which we already said is the same as 0 0.50. 30 is closer to 25 than it is to 50. So we know that this point is going to be greater than 0 0.25, but it's going to be closer to 0 0.25 than it is to 0 0.5. Okay? Let's say if I give you 1.7. I look at my number line, and I know that 1.7 is greater than 1.5, but it's less than 1.75. So my point most likely will go right there in this position. Let's look at some more examples. In this number line, we don't start at zero. We start from the number 2 and go all the way to the number 5. Okay, let's get a point. 3.56. All right. So we know that it's going to come after 3, but before 4. And in the middle, we know that this point is 3.5 or 3.50. So 3.56 is going to be just a little over 3.50. So it's going to be about this position right here. Okay, let's look at another example. In this number line, I have 12 going all the way to 15. Okay, so if I'm using the example 12.05, I know this. It's going to be between 12 and 13. Most likely, it'll be smaller than 12.5. 12.05 will be smaller than 12.25. I know that it's going to be closer to 12. So my point is going to go right about here, most likely. And this is how we place decimal points on a number line. 